really into her. She knew I was into her. I would say stuff like, man, you're just beautiful and this, that, and the other. But she knew I was into her. But she would only call me at like 11.59 when her ride didn't show up to come get, pick her up Aww, from the restaurant to get her home. <laughs> right, yeah. I was friend zone. I mean... What up, man? It's your boy, Captain Jones. You're listening to Track Stars Live because we track stars. We keep on track for Jesus Christ all day, every day. What's going on? You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. The full house. Yeah, it's yeah. a full house today, man. Of course, today's episode is brought to you by Audible.com. Make sure you go to audibletrial.com forward slash track stars with a Z. If you can't remember that, just go to trackstars.com and uh, you'll see the banner across the top. You'll get a free book on us, man. I just finished another book recently, uh, 101 Marketing Tips. Um, free Marketing Tips was actually written oh, yeah. by a, a Christian guy, Jim Cochran. Uh, let me let me look that up again. But um, it's it's amazing, man. Really good tips that I've been using this week, um, as well to to help with the track stars. But big news for us, man. I just said we're at trackstars.com. Yeah, that may not seem like a big deal to you, but that is yep. a huge deal. We've for been us, waiting for is. nine years. Yeah, man. To get trackstars.com, we've had to use the field track stars. We've had to use track stars radio, trackstars.co. But just last week, man, um, uh, we had some good vibes. Everybody that was in here gave us some good vibes last week because I got a phone call from the person who owned trackstars.com yep. and we acquired it from yep. them. so shout out to gamma wave up in canada oh. they're the ones that owned it okay and uh we're, we're gonna partner with them yeah okay. man so big stuff man big stuff going on how y'all doing Man, it's been a it's been a rough week, man. It's been a rough week. <laughs> bring it down. Yeah. Before you bring it back down, make sure you go to trackstars.com. Also go to Twitter <laughs> at trackstars. Go to Instagram at trackstars. YouTube at the field trackstars. Facebook at trackstars radio. And uh, make sure you follow us on all those places. Make sure you download the podcast. Give us a good rating and give us a good review on iTunes as well. All of that. Yeah, do that. Do it. You know, back in the day, man, whenever I had like whenever I was under the weather, it always worked out in my benefit because I had such a high voice. It would make my voice deeper. Right. Yeah. But now it just works against me, man, because it just means that I'm not myself. I'm not 100 percent. But I'm turned up today, man, because we went out and we uh, shot the video uh, with Brinson today, man. So that was a lot of fun. Yep. Getting back out into that sun, man. Whew, it's a lot of sun out there. It's a lot of sun. It's a lot of sun. Yeah, it's a lot of sun in here, unfortunately, too. It is. It is. <laughs> Summertime. Is really it interesting. Is. Um, but yeah, man, we got a lot of people coming through today. Uh, Brinson, uh, Juice, Will Thomas, the director extraordinaire. We got Aaron Cole. Actually, Court came back. She's in the building again. Yeah, we got a yes. ton of other guests in here, so you'll meet along the way. But um, yeah, it's going to be a fun show. It's going to be a fun show. So um, <laughs> nobody else in here knows what this first topic is, so it's going to be funny. All right. Oh, that's right, because... The planning committee is not in here. Yeah, I think people will leak in here as we talk. And somebody can sit next to me if you want to. You want you don't get no. All right. no. You may want to jump in on this. Yeah, you oh, yeah. may. You, you may want to jump may. in on this. I'm sorry. All right. Come on, Christy Love of <laughs> Track Stars Music and FMG. Track Stars Music. Christy Love is in the building. Okay. All yeah. right. So we are doing a uh, top five today. Mike. Huh? Oh, sorry. We're doing a top five today. And uh, the top five is this. Top five ways to know... That you've been friend zoned Because some people don't know Some people don't know Some people need help You need to be in this too Come sit next to the man Alright The man How do you know How do you know If you've been friend zoned So this is our top five Alright So number five They only call you When they need something from you That is so true Other than that It's all SMS That is so true Is that true Christy <laughs> Um <laughs> Well, I don't really get friend zoned. Ooh, but you be friend, friend zoned. You be, no, like, you be zoning. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you be playing yeah. defense though. You, you be putting up that defense. <laughs> um, I don't know if that was really true. Usually, like if someone's friend zoning you, they see, probably see, won't even oh, really hit you up I like that. that. Now, I'm not. I'm not talking about super friend zone where they like you go everywhere with them. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about like it's still a mystery so let like me they give, don't know where they are yet let me give her the example that i have mm-hmm. when i was in college i was really into this one girl right mm-hmm. but she only called and i was really into her she knew i was into her i would say stuff like man you're just beautiful and this that, and the other but she knew i was into her 
but she would only call me at like 11.59 when her ride didn't show up to come get, pick her up Aww, from the restaurant and get her home. <laughs> right, yeah. I was friend zone. I mean, I, but I, I'll be happy to say that. That's not even friend zone. You just got played. Yeah, no, that was friend played. zone. She I used think. you, bro. Well, she could have. But that's the thing, though. They call you when they need something because it wasn't the that wasn't the first time and that wasn't the only time. It just kept happening. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. Okay. okay. All right. So that one's confirmed. <laughs> That's confirmed. All right. So number four, they either they don't introduce you when they meet, like when they see people when they with you, or they give you like a bad introduction. Like they don't say this is my boyfriend. They say this is Sean. So <laughs> you know I'm saying like you don't get <laughs> you don't get no title or nothing. No, that's real. That's yeah. definitely true. So, guys do that a lot, actually. So what we're trying to do is not we to go, me, but uh, for guys or girls, about you. this is wait, this is weighted because guys were in the room when we came up with this. But for guys or girls, if you if they don't introduce you, that's a big sign. Yeah. I mean, this has happened to me while I was in a relationship. Oh, so that's gosh. that's terrible. But if if you don't get introduced, you in a friend zone. Yeah. Now, is there a possibility that you forget or you thought the person had already been introduced? Is there a possibility of that? One time. One time. So you get one chance to make that. Well, that what if happen. they don't introduce you because they don't want everybody like. In their business. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you looking You're at that, 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 but doesn't that? <laughs> but doesn't that mean that you don't want it to go forward? If they Not don't, necessarily. You, you just, like, you just you might be. You figure it out first. Y'all just might be on y'all own little okay. time. Okay. All right, I'm glad you're here. Let's get some let's get some honesty in here because guys don't often get this and and they need to hear this. When you like somebody, mm-hmm. don't you have a way of showing it? Yeah. Don't they know it from your mannerisms, the way that you talk to them? Mm-hmm. I mean, we we got one on the list. Here, I think you're really going to agree here's with. Here's one that we cut from the list, and I'm, I need I need your okay. your take on it. If she don't dress up for you, is that a sign? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Because I I would I thought that girls would be like, oh well, I wear the sweats and don't do my hair around him because we close. I could f- I, I'm myself around Mm-mm. him. Well, Mm-mm. the thing is, you don't start doing that until like y'all like. been dating for a while. <laughs> but if you start off like that, you don't care. Yeah, nah. Man, that should have <laughs> stayed. That should have stayed. Um, but yeah, man. So the poor introduction is that big? Um. Well, okay. I would say it's different for many women. So like if if it's a man who brings around a, rom- a woman and he just says oh this is Tiffany or doesn't introduce her at all then yes definitely like she's been friend zone he's not feeling her like that but and I, I'm only saying this because I've done this before <laughs> oh, no. no I'm not saying friend zone to people but like maybe I'm I might be dating somebody that. They know I like them and we know what it is, but I don't necessarily want to tell everybody else at that time. So I'm just like, this is such and such. Don't ask me no questions. So there's a possibility of that. Love. There's a possibility of that right. happening. I don't know. That's kind of why. I don't know. Why is that whack though? I mean, don't you want to tell somebody if you, like, it's like, it's. Man, like, this is my boot yeah, thing. Yeah, like, all excited like if you're about excited it. about somebody, wouldn't you want to tell people about that person? Well,. I was like Jesus. If you're excited about Jesus, it's it's not that you don't like want to <laughs> tell anybody about them or you're not excited. Like sometimes people are very nosy. They start getting into your relationship, and that can really like ruin whatever relationship you're Why building. Why don't you just tell them get out my relationship? I mean, you could tell them. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm on the hot seat. Yeah, right you now. just walked. In you did. Yeah. You just walked right on point. Like, I'm walking psh- out of the field. We weren't track ex- stars. We weren't expecting. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't expecting this. This is good for us. All right. So number three. Number three. This one is this one is big. It's gonna get serious now. All right. The person is aware that you like them. It's, it's obvious. Everybody knows, but they never address it. They 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 Heisman you. They they do the Stonewall. <laughs> they don't bring it up. Ain't no discussion about it. It's clear. Everybody know, but you just never broach the subject. So it never becomes a thing. Wow, that's true. That's that's, that's same, what we call the curve. That same girl, <laughs> that, name that same girl I was talking about from college was like she waited till we got out of out for Christmas break, and I was dropping off at the airport, and she was like, "Yeah, so about this whole you liking me thing, I don't feel the same way." <laughs> I just wanted you to know that. Now go catch a flight. Now, how many rides yeah. had you given her at that point? 
Oh man, that was probably like ride yeah. 10. Right. <laughs> you should have got that cash money. Yeah. Point. Yeah. So, I mean, it happens and I think that I think it's something that you all do on purpose. <laughs> like women? Yeah. I think it's something you, you all do, do on purpose. Too. Right. You know what? It's easier for us to address that somebody likes us and for us to tell them how we feel because we kind of have the more. All right, I'm not looking at you. Like, well, no, okay, that's me true. Don't it's we true. have. All right, I need somebody to stand up and tell right me if though. I'm wrong. We go around Don't we have the more dominant role in a relationship where we get the. You know what I mean? Like, we get to pick and choose a little bit more. Wait a minute. Who are you saying is the culprit of this? Are you saying guys do this more or girls doing this more? I'm saying girls do this more. Not these days. No, Not because I would days. feel like a girl has the excuse of mm-hmm. you're the man, you're supposed to approach me. So if I never talk about this, that's your fault. Mm-hmm. You're but, the one that's well, supposed Well, I'm to saying this. guys can get away with it more, right? Can't we? Mm-hmm. Won't we won't we be quick to tell somebody that we are not really feeling them like no, that? No. They like us and we I know it. What, what guys no, do, I think so. I agree with that. What guys do is what they'll do is they'll if they have a girl friend mm-hmm. around and they like her attention. They don't want to mess it up, so they just don't bring it up. Because they don't want her to go away. You don't want to just be like, hey, look, it ain't going to happen. Because then you're going to lose everything you get. You see what I'm saying? I think this happens a lot. Am I wrong? Has no, anybody yeah, ever experienced true. this? Has anybody done this? See, I was worse than that. I actually used you a to... a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I actually used to... I used to I used to be intrigued by the uh, the affection that they had. Mm. So I would turn my swag up a little bit more to kind of like make it harder for them not to like me. Yeah, and then would you tell them, hey, it's not going to happen? No, but I would inadvertently bring up other girls that I was you. chasing. This is you right here. Yeah, I think that gr- guys and girls do it the same amount, except, and don't jump on me when I say this, I think guys are a little bit more shysty about it. Because mm-hmm. a girl, okay, she'll, well, me, um, I don't know about every woman, but most of the girls that I know and myself, like, want to be nice and don't want to hurt anybody's feelings so I might act oblivious to the fact that Mm -hmm. you like me if I know you like me if I'm not trying to hurt your feelings and just say hey I don't like you like that Mm -hmm. but guys they'll know they don't like you know you like them continue to hang out with you and call you as if for the benefits yeah as if there's going to be something popping off and then Next thing and, you know, and let me he's tell you, walking down the street with some other girl. Let me tell you why it's dangerous. <laughs> it's because if, if you're talking about a, a Christian girl who is trying to do things the right way, right? Who is basically like, hey, I, he's supposed to find me. He's supposed to be approaching me, that kind of thing. Yeah. You can have them sitting there waiting forever and you just stonewalling them, not bringing nothing up. And they, it's not mm-hmm. like they could bring it up because they'll feel like they're stepping over their bounds, right? Well, I, I realize this is almost like my, my me and my yes. wife. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about you. Well, Girl, here's, here's somebody. You? Curved you? I was curving my wife. <laughs> oh, yeah. excuse me? Not on purpose, though. It was a reason she why. Here Tell them the reason. No. Well, because um, my ex-girlfriend at the time um, was friends with my wife. Mm-hmm. Like, good friends. So, but it wasn't like a pl- I plotted or anything like that. It was just I he was, was scared to go there. And, and weren't, they, like, yeah. weren't they roommates at one time? It's, I don't it's think all so. kinds of bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I'm not shy. I didn't, I didn't know bring you were like so, that. Nah, I went like that. <laughs> I waited years. Okay. So, so the funny thing is, I'm gonna tell you a story one time. So, um, one day we was at church on Wednesday night, and me and my wife were talking, and we were just friends, and we were talking and everything. And um, she was like, "What does all this mean?" I was like. Like nothing, and I just walked off. Oh my god! <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's one story. You so and then it. and then and then another time, I was like, we was emailing each other, and um, she, she I, I don't know why I'm hearing her voice say, tell the whole story. All right, so <laughs> she was like, so like I emailed her because she was she, me and her were just friends. She was talking to a guy and everything like that. So I I I. Pulled out this Craig David song called Hitting Agenda, and I sent it to her, right? And then, like, um, she was like, what are you trying to say? And I was like, oh, yeah, by the way, pray for me. I've got a um, date with this. I'm trying. I'm talking to somebody else. So it was like, I was oh, doing that. So it was like, I was... What was your purpose for doing all that? Day? I don't know. Honestly, to this day, I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I know. I think for the other purpose was I didn't want to hurt their friendship because they're still friends but it wasn't like I, I the reason I said I waited like literally a couple years before I even did it even they would tell you like I didn't really want to go down that route to bring up their friendship 
So, all right, uh, royally me. I'm gonna address what you said in a second. We're gonna have to spend some time on what she just said. Yeah, because it relates to Trey. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, we we gonna <laughs> yeah. we gonna have to talk about this. Yeah, that's, producer Trey, get ready. Take the mic. It's gonna be a problem, royally me. I'm gonna tell you that. Um, all right. So number two, number two, um, they don't do things in public with you. So the example Ryan had was they'll watch a movie with you, but they won't go watch a movie with you. Does that happen? Yes, definitely. <laughs> and and, and <laughs> which one do you value more? Staying at home or actually going out in public? Going out in public. I knew it. I was right. Not everybody. I was right. <laughs> I'm not, because I feel like, okay, once you've been in a relationship with somebody, then yeah, staying at home is cool, but like, if so basically, I'm trying to court you and date you, you need to be taking me out. Well, we're talking about when you have a friend that you don't want to be out in public with. Would well, you yeah. rather would you rather call him over to come watch a movie at your house or would you rather go out in public with him to a movie? I mean, I would I would go out in public to a movie with my friend, but I don't know, maybe I'm just different. Cuz I had a problem with that because I always felt like I didn't want other girls to see me and think that I wasn't available if they had potential. Oh, I see. That's why now, I if, like I was was going, if I was going somewhere <laughs> if I was going somewhere like um, where I, I, I was trying to catch the eye of another guy and it was like a group or something then no, I wouldn't invite my friend that I'm trying to keep in the friend zone. I had a real hard time taking girls to destinations with me. Mm. Like a real hard time. If you don't know what Destinations is, it's a spoken word group where the male to female ratio was like one to twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to be like, man, I'm going by myself this Friday. I'm not taking anybody with me. And, and the mess up thing is when they see him in line, I'm like, yo, Ryan, what's up? And then you're yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. be mad about it. Then I messed up and took somebody with me, and I was like. Is this going to ruin me for every time I come back now? Are they going to remember this person was with me? See, this is a Ryan one. Number yeah. two is Ryan. All right. So number one, this one is one I push for. All right. They give you the excuse. I just got to work on myself right now. That means <laughs> <laughs> that resonated with Ashley in the corner. That means what that means. Let me just tell you, just in case you, this is the reason I uh, fought for this to be number one, because I believe there's some dudes trapped in this right now. And I want you to have freedom. Hey, I did a whole spoken word piece about this. I want Na- you to have freedom. Name some other, <laughs> we named some other ones. What were some other ones that was along with this? Oh, yeah. I didn't make the list. Oh, OK. So okay. so I, I want to I want to give you all some freedom. If you, if you want to in depth, go look up uh, me and uh, Sincere's piece. I'm not your friend. This is what we talked about in depth. But. The reason this one is so big is because it could be true. It could be true. But most likely what they're saying is this. I'm working on myself because you asked me. If somebody I really liked, my working on myself time would shrink dramatically like right now. (laughs) I believe that happens because I believe that people know that they're waiting on somebody to get out of a relationship or they're waiting on somebody who's supposed to be coming around and they're working on themselves so then they're telling everybody else like let me explain why this is this is crazy because what that does for you is it makes you think oh man if i just stick this out (laughs) then this this is gonna happen and you're gonna waste your life waiting on don't waste your life (laughs) (laughs) are you you angry right now so (laughs) to me to me that one sounds like i gotta work on myself for somebody <laughs> other than you because I don't want to Yeah, so, basically, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, so what were the other variations of this? What you were talking about? What were yeah, the variations? I forgot what we said that it was variations of. You're too good for me. Yeah, you're too good for me. Um, What else? What's another it's variation? It's not me. It's not you. It's me. No, that's when you break up. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> You're too good for me. I'm working on myself. Well, I'm not ready for a relationship. I'm not ready for a relationship. Yeah. Stuff like that. They'll be for ready me, if you was Denzel. I did this, <laughs> but you're not. You know what I'm I did this prior to meeting my wife. I told this person like I don't get serious about anybody for six months like that's my thing I gotta test the waters I gotta see how you are I gotta see how I am uh-huh. and when I met my wife it was seven days mm-hmm. full, yeah. full blown relationship so, seven days so, so what I'm saying is I'm not saying <laughs> I'm not saying that it's impossible I'm not saying because they may have just listened to Andy Andy Stanley's message or wait for a year mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff yeah. if they have a legit reason you may have to listen to them but most likely yeah. Even after they listen to Andy Stanley, if you was the junk to them, yeah. I'm not saying you ain't the junk because you might be the junk, but to them, don't waste your time, man. 
Don't yeah. waste your time. Because we, we basically said it was deception. It was deceiving you. Because they don't want to lose what they get from yeah. you. Yeah. But they also don't want to talk about this ever again. Yeah. That's what they just said to you. Yeah. Don't talk to me about this. I gave a scenario where I asked this, girl, asked this girl to go to the concert with me. And she was like, oh, I'm washing my hair on that day. And I was like, I didn't even tell you what the day the concert day. was. <laughs> So how is that even every day? You know, but we have to we have to address <laughs> all day, every we day. have to address something. All day. We got to address something on Twitter because I believe it relates to my man Trey here. Where one young lady said, "You actually have to survive the friend zone in order to make it to a relationship with her." And I believe my man Trey feels the same way. Like Royally me, you got to be friends first, or it's okay to be friends. Royally first. me said this. Uh, Royally me. For me, a dude has to survive the friend zone in order for me to even consider him. It's a test of motives. What does he want? I agree with this. Okay. But I don't believe there's such thing as a friend zone. I believe we friends until right. I see that I want to It's a friend zone, you. brother. This is, it's so not a friend here's, zone. Here's, here's her well, next. People is, define it differently. Here's her here's <laughs> next. Apparently so. This is because you may agree with her. And y'all may be perfect. <laughs> you can see their true colors <laughs> as well as see if he is willing to wait and... If he can express his intentions, not have and not have me guessing. That's all true. Yeah, pretty I much. I feel like because what y'all you friends, you ain't finna try to impress me. Because when you trying to impress me, all your junk is covered up. But when you're not trying to impress me, we just cooling. Yeah, you gonna tell me all about all the ratchet problems you have, and I'm gonna get to know what that is. And not only that, help you deal with them even while we're friends. Well, here's the caveat: for somebody like Trey, yeah. he really means that. But if they dated somebody a second ago. And then they date somebody a second later, they lie to you. Yeah. See, somebody like Trey means that, and he'll he'll change. But he means <laughs> that he really wants to to chill with you as a friend. I used to say this. I, I believe you. And it can't happen that way. I mean, it happened that way for for uh, Jeremiah. And then some other stuff happened. But your story that you explained, because y'all were friends before this all this happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So so it can't happen that way. Mm-hmm. But. It's some some tricky stuff around that because if you if you play with somebody like this, mm-hmm. this test situation, you can mess it up. This is what I'm saying. So you could be friends and still express an interest in saying, "Hey, man, I, I think you're cool." You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I think you, you're you're nice. Let's just chill for a second and watch each other. But you got to make sure that you're not lying to this young lady and still like checking now, out. Now, if some it other came stuff. up and it was like, "Yo, how do you feel about me?" and I was attracted to the person or I like the person, I would just straight up, you know, tell you like, "Yeah, I, I have been like thinking about pursuing you." I ain't just gonna, you know, hide it behind like a bushel or nothing. <laughs> I just couldn't be. I, I, it's like different strokes for different folks because I just I couldn't do that. You can't I just mm-hmm. be in a friendship with somebody you're mm-hmm. attracted to. Mm-hmm. I no. think what Trey is describing is like taking it slow versus what y'all are talking about is curving. There's a difference between the two. Exactly. Because I could really like a guy, but say I just want to be friends. I've told I've told guys this before. I just want to be friends first because I feel like you can't build a real relationship if you're not first friends with okay. someone. But what y'all are talking about is curving. Trey so curving. so he, this is what the list is for. Mm-hmm. How is a person supposed to know if you're really doing that? Or if you're curving them. What's well, the difference? If you're really just trying to build a friendship with someone, you wouldn't be using them for things. Like, let's say, okay, I know a guy's interested in me. And I might be interested in him, but I don't want a relationship right now because I want to build. So I'm not going to let him spend all his money on me or, you know, do all this right. extra mm. stuff for if me. I- have a servant attitude don't do like if the other person is obviously not contributing to the friendship then i would even question like are we even friends right right now or are you just around me that's a hard one because if you were in the okay this might be bad but i had a i had a friend right or we were calling ourselves dating and i used to be like if we're friends and i pay for a meal shouldn't you be paying for a meal too so that it doesn't get misconstrued you know does that does that not happen? Do you it, feel that way? Do you feel like when you're in when you're with a friend, a friend can offer to pay, and then you can offer to pay? Definitely, sometimes? I do that yeah. in, in dating relationships. Honestly, yeah. But I'm a have these. Although it's a, if it's a female, it's just my thing. I just do it anyway. <laughs> Why <are> you laughing? Because <laughs> they have these. All right. So here's some of the ones that didn't make the list. If you get the side hug, depends on what church you go to. But if you get the side hug, that's a good sign. Um, they give you lame excuses why they can't go places, like the yeah. washing the hair when the, you <laughs> yeah. know when it was and stuff like yeah. that. Um, and that's it, I think. And they they talk to other dudes in front of you. 
Or they talk about other dudes. They talk about other dudes in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a good one? Yeah, I agree with that one. Yeah. And when you do that, and I'm just saying not you, but when women do that, are they trying to say, I'm going to talk about this other person so that you don't get the wrong idea about how I feel about you or where this could be going? Sometimes. Okay. I think I, I've done that I, I've accident before. <laughs> yeah. This is good. Thanks for this being here. This was a light. I mean, because you know, you know <laughs> if it was just us, we would just made us stuff. <laughs> right. All right, man. And then that's I good. Been mad about it too. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Royally Me for chiming in. Sam Blackwell chimed in and said, "This is 100 percent correct. Thank you, sir." Um, girls don't agree completely, but that's fine. All right, man. <laughs> we about to get in some music. Brinson just walked in. We are gonna talk to him in a second. Let's go. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, 